Hey everyone, it is um, 8.30 and I have been fasting for uh, 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 21 hours now. Uh, earlier today I talked about how at the beginning of fasting I like I, I love to play the silly card game of just looking for uh, number four because four sounds like death in Chinese. I thought I'd share another game that I played at one point in my life. This one is much more intelligent than just screaming death out of the top of your lungs. Um, and um, this one is um, actually a, 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 a classmate of mine had invented this game. Um, we had learned in math class that if you add the fractions, let me see if I can get a pen to, to, to write this down to show you guys. We had learned that if you added the fraction one plus a half plus a third, plus a quarter, that it diverges, right? So, we had learned that one plus a half, plus a third, plus a quarter, plus up to infinity, this, this diverges, right? But we learned that if we ended the series at one over n, that it approximately equals the natural log of n, right? And my classmate decided to make use of that identity with this silly game that he invented called Guess the Card. So what you would do is you would shuffle a deck of cards just like that, and you would guess what each card was one at a time, right? Let's say I guessed that the first card was the Eight of Spades, right? And I was wrong. And hopefully we can remember that the King of Hearts has come up so we don't guess it again. And let's guess the the Ten of Clubs. Okay, and hopefully we remember that the King of Hearts and the Six of Spades has come up. And we guess the Four of Diamonds. Okay, and the Queen of Diamonds has come up. So now we got three cards we got to remember. We're going to guess the Nine of Clubs. That was the Six of Clubs. See, I, I, I can't remember those four cards already. But the idea is that if you had perfect memory, you got a 1 in 52 chance of guessing that first card correctly. Right? Let me get my... See, I, I can never find good paper to write on because I doodle so much. Uh, it's, it's really silly. So you got a 1 in 52... Uh, let's see... There we go. Let's see how long I can make this sheet of paper last, because I doodle so much. You got a 1 in 52 chance of guessing that first card correctly, plus a 1 in 51 chance. And then the last card, if you, if you have perfect memory, you're guaranteed to guess that one correctly, right? So we got the natural log of, or at least approximately the natural log of 52. Uh, let's get out a calculator. 52, where's my natural log button? About three, it's a, it's a little bit under four cards correctly, right? Um, of course, none of us had perfect memory at the time. And, and we decided that if you could play this game 20 times and average out your score, it could be like a memory test, right? Um, if you're guessing, if you're randomly guessing and you have no memory at all, this is perfect memory, right? If you had no memory at all, you would just have 1 over 52 plus 1 over 52 all the way for each card, which would equal 1, right? So hopefully your score is going to be somewhere in between those two numbers, right? And that would be a good indicator of how good of a memory you had, right? That was my that that was the the the, the, conjec the conjecture of the two of us, right? We never got anybody to play the game long enough to to have a good um and, and, you know, just to average out the variance, right? I guess, though, um, I could program it on the computer now. Um, that way I don't have to shuffle cards, and, and I could have a better shuffle, right? Um, hand shuffling is very hard to get to perfect, right? Um, obviously, the order of the cards, certain cards are more memorable than other cards, right? I'm sure anybody who has studied psychology could agree to that, right? Um, anyway, uh Let's let's finish one round to see. Uh, seven of of spades.
Ah, oh, that was something I guessed earlier, I think. All right, the Ace of Spades. Okay, a lot of eights have come up. The Two of Spades. The Five of Diamonds. The Three of Clubs. The... Pretty sure the Ace of Spades is not... Okay, there we go. That's that's one point, right? Uh, the other thing we liked about this game is that every time somebody guessed correctly, it was always a big deal, right? Because nobody expected somebody to guess a card, right? And it would cause... We were doing this in the break room of the college, the college campus. It always caused everybody in the break room to go into an uproar every time somebody guessed correctly, right? Um... Uh, I don't seem to remember anybody getting a score of three or four, so most people had pretty bad memory, right? Uh, I might consider making a website where people can play this over and over and over again, so I can make a chart of, like, distribution, right? If you had statistical distribution, you know, zero, uh, sometimes you, you just get really unlucky and get zero, even if you had no memory, right? One... Two, three, four, five. I would imagine most people's memories would be somewhere between one and two, right? And you could do a, 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 a chart, and you could do standard deviations, and uh, I'd love to see what that would look like, right? Uh, obviously, you, you need to play a lot of rounds to average out. Hopefully, nobody is going to have super perfect memory, right? It's just going to be so, psychic, right? This anything above three point nine five would be like psychic, right? Three point nine five is like perfect memory. Anything above one in between three point five nine is some kind of imperfect memory, right? And if you play enough rounds, this will disappear as well, right? You'll just have something like that, right? All right. Anyways, um, enjoy your uh, anniversary and try to think about um, about what George Floyd stood for right today is his three-month anniversary which is why i went on a fast right thanks for watching